My cousin, who is a doctor, has come to give free eye care to all the children in Fonsi. He's right here, Dr. Zach. Hello. We are here to offer free eye care to children within the Fonsi and its municipality. Um, we hope everybody come out and get this good opportunity because eye care definitely is the eye that is the window to go world. So we'll open up and beefing up that we all meet over there, then we'll do the best for all of them. Thank you. Oh, I'm a man that I'm going to help you. 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 Uh, you can uh, uh, treatment, but if you have a problem, I can see problem. Whether the BVM Baba can see my problem, come back to come back. The little of the TV free the glasses, eh, see a young girl of the TV free. Do you have a come out of a BVM? I'm operation, but the operation must free, but they like them blue. So I am going to do that. I've become a school day, the Howley, Dr. Zakaria Al Hassan, Valerie. I'm having a value from the place I came. Talk, We're going to station a uh, station over there where the child is registered. So each child coming through the screening will have to go through your name, your school, the class you are, and the age. Definitely, we have to come up with a report after this. So once this is done, the first point will be they go through what we call visual acuity. We mount some charts here where they will be sticking through the visual acuity. Then they move to it. We are dedicating about four or five classrooms which will be used more like a consulting room. So the child will be screened, the problem detected, and then we have another room to dedicate only for the medication and one two for what we call refraction. That's uh, testing the child for the need of maybe optical aid. So once that is done, then the next moment is you get your relief and then you move out. Jalihatu. <laughs> He actually encountered a, an accident, which is a trauma. I learned a stick prick into the eye, but they reported late at the clinic. 
they tried following them up but they tried you know traditionally there are a lot of things they believe in so they didn't turn up again but now he's turned up but unfortunately what has happened now we have to do a procedure we call evisceration just to save the eye from giving him a lot of pain because now it's just going to be pain it's not seen but it's going to cause him a lot of pain so that's the only procedure we can do now so we we'll have to refer him to wa anytime soon so that when they follow up we we'll do the procedure when it's healed they will put a prosthesis lens that will rather help him better than though it may not see but at least to give him some bit of uh, good appearance and no pain too as well see the fluid coming. and it's infected too. that's why it's, it's, it's white it's whitish you see, you see it you see it's it. coming and it's slippery in nature slimy let me come z p f e l o p d e p f p o Her main complaint was that she doesn't see things which are closer to her. And the motive for wearing the black things on the eye, which we call Kali, is as uh, a local way, that's the medicine to really get her killed out of that. So we've done the preliminary test. By our turn, we've realized that no, that is not really the issue. So we really use this platform to also educate her and know that that isn't the basis. But we will also try and see whether optics or that glasses could also be an option. But if it's not, we will find still another better way to really explain to her. Because the more she continues putting this on the eye, it will rather lead to something else which is not desirable. For now, at this point, it will be difficult to know which eye. Because you have to still undergo a bit of test to really know which eye is really the weaker, which eye is really coordinating well. So for now, we have identified. But fellow with them, that we refer to what where the child will now be taking through a series of examinations to now see which eye even we are working on. But there's only a link with at least the child is still young, less than five years, so we can still do something about it. But it will be a surgical procedure.